Hey folks, so I'm gonna work on the air conditioner again today. And what I'm working on today is, this is a one, two, three, four, five wire thermostat feed. And I need seven down here. So one of the mistakes I made when I built this house was I didn't run conduit to this box. So I've got a fish wire through the wall and this wall is insulated with spray foam. Now I have cut a hole in the ceiling here because I need to go across above the aquarium to about right here. And then I can go that way to the, um, where the air conditioning lives. Um, so I've got a piece of pipe and we're gonna start with this. So I need to know exactly where this is because I need to put a light down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure to this common wall, which is 16 feet, one inches. And then I need to figure out exactly where that is up here. So 16 feet, one inches. That puts me back underneath here where I've already got a hole that I cut for access. So what I'm going to do is Put a flashlight under here. And so I need to go back up beyond. We're gonna be back in this area right here. So in order, you guys can't see that. So there is air conditioning duct here and we're gonna gently lift this because the area we're interested in is right here. And this is gonna be a real devil to get to. So this will be interesting. So what I've done is I've put the flashlight in there and that's gonna mark that spot. So I'll show you what that looks like from downstairs. What I expect is that I'll be able to see that from here, and I would be wrong. I cannot see that. So, I gotta figure out what's going on. So let me go back upstairs. I'm just gonna stick this in here because the reality is, is it's gotta go where it's gotta go and it doesn't have any other places to go. So I've got a door across the hallway. The trick to this is to push this into the corner over there and then the pipe is flexible enough that you can walk it back up into here okay and then we're going to see if we can bend it up into this channel yep so i need it to go right here So I've got that there. Now I gotta figure out where that's at on the other end. So let's go see if we can find it. Uh, well, before I do, let me show you what we got. So I've got a, a nasty spider web there, but this pipe just goes all the way that way. Now this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Ain't no two ways around it. I don't even know where I'm gonna put the camera. I think I'm gonna put the camera out here. I don't know that you guys are gonna be able to see a whole lot because, well, quite frankly, I can't see a whole lot. Okay, so I think we're actually back on this side. So I may have to just go ahead and take 
the rest of the um, sheetrock out of the back of this cabinet because I'm probably going to need that side. And, you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. If I have to, I'll take the sink out and take the sheetrock off this wall if that's what it takes to create access. So let me go get the tool to cut the sheetrock out. All right, so now we're going to cut this one open. And we've got a 2 by 4 right there, so no point... All right, so I knew I had pipes back here. So one of the things that I did to make sure I didn't cause a leak is I was really shallow in the, in the wall there. And it's a good thing I did because I, otherwise I would have cut into that piece of PEX and that would have sucked royally. So uh, the rest of this is gonna suck pretty royally anyway. Let me move the camera over here. And let's go exploring. These have got to come out. They're in my way. This is just a difficult location to work in to begin with. Yeah, I don't see any way around this. I'm going to have to probably open up the ceiling of the aquarium to do this right. So let me go look down there. So... It's kind of a good thing that I don't have the aquarium full of water because this would be really difficult to do. I probably shouldn't have gotten in here in shoes, but it doesn't matter because all that's in here is dust. And probably the easiest one to take out is this one right here. So I don't see, I'm gonna have to do that. What did I do up here? Um, yeah, the only thing that really makes any sense to me is to take out this panel and it's caulked in and sealed. Um, I intended to make this vapor and waterproof up here and I probably did. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got a lot of screws in here. Um, let me go get the screw gun and see what we can get done. 
And I'm gonna get a pair of pliers to undo this, <coughs> or a, a screwdriver to undo this and set that down there. Um, I don't think this has to come off. What a mess, yeah. And yeah, it should be about right where this is. <sighs> There's really no good answer because I didn't want um, I, I, you know, anyway, let me go get a screwdriver and get busy on this. All right, so let's create a little bit of space in here. Just need to open that up a little bit and then this will come down all right and I've got this and this um, so let's go ahead and take this hook out There's a reason I've been putting off rerouting the thermostat wire for a couple years because it was always going to be a pain in the butt. And man, was that not wrong. Really? Okay, so they're not those. What are they? like they're square. All right, let me get a different bit. All right. I didn't remember these being, but they are. Should have put a few more screws in here. What the hell I was thinking actually. It's going to be hard to get to. Damn it. These are all going to be hard to get to. So I think I'm going to have to take a little bit of this off too. Because I'm pretty sure these go up under here. That would have been the right way to do it.
That's going to take a razor blade. Let me go get that. Now, just in case y'all are curious how I get up in here, I'm going to show you. So, I got a little step ladder, and then I just slither in here. And man, I'm glad there's not stuff in the aquarium because this would be really hard. And then we're going to cut this and hope that this doesn't do too much damage because this is a heavy duty sealant. Well, that was what I was afraid of. It can still be reused. Uh, this is uh, ISO quad. stuff went up here I mean I knew when I put it in here that this was gonna be here for a while but I had no idea it was gonna be this difficult to get it out <laughs> and at this point the only thing I'm gonna be able to do is break it cuz I don't see see any easy solutions of rate arriving here So I did spray foam the inside of this uh, to eliminate noise. Aquariums are usually pretty noisy. Uh, one of the things I didn't do is put in ventilation and that's something that I am going to fix while I'm in here. Uh, I think at this point the only thing I really can do is get a hammer and knock this piece out of my way. So that's what's going to happen. All right. Oh man. It really does bother me to pull this down. So, this is the right spot. Uh, what I don't know is if I need to be in the next cavity or not. Let me feel for it. <laughs> yeah. I do need to be in the cavity next door. Oh, 
Okay. There's so much going on in here. Wow. All right. Tell you what, this ISO quad really has performed. It's impressive. <clears throat> it's been up there six years. So now I gotta figure out why I can't see the thing. <clears throat> Cause I should have found a pipe right above me. Let me work on that. All right, so what we're dealing with is someplace who probably shouldn't stick her hand, head. Ah, there it is. So you all see what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's just wide enough to get my ears through there. Uh, and I need to go up there again. So I'm gonna go get a flashlight and I'll be right back. Mm. So it's this board here that I'm stuck on. All right. And that's just beyond my reach. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can, now that I know what I'm stuck on, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can bounce over it. <clears throat> you might ask yourself, what does he mean by bounce over it? Well, you're fixing to find out. So I think I'm gonna actually just pull this out all the way out and go through on the other side of this pipe.
All right. So that brings us in. That got us past that obstruction. Now let's see where the hell we're at. All right. Oh, we're right where we need to be. So there we are. And apparently we were in this cavity all along and we were right there stuck against that. Uh, I wonder if I could have reached it. Nope, I couldn't have reached it. So it doesn't matter. Now we're here, we're gonna make a 90 degree and go this way. And we'll go back behind here. And wow, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Or maybe we'll go up in through here, I don't know. Uh, so uh, I'll be back. All right, so next I gotta run conduit up that way and that way in the house about 20 feet. 23 feet to be exact. And I've got the gray pipe right there. So this shouldn't be too terribly hard, but it should be fun. So let me go get the pipe we're gonna run and I'll be right back. All right, so for my first magic trick, I'm gonna push this up here. And then I'm gonna climb up behind it or in front of it. Oh, this should be a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's predicted, it's a pain in the ass. All right. I need a flashlight, which is not up here. So let me stabilize that and go down there and get it. Cause I have no idea what's over there and I'm hitting stuff. some help. Let me get my head headlamp too. Mm. Okay. So first I can't see a thing. So there is no path through on the left. And the right doesn't look a whole lot better. As I've said before, this is a very, very crowded stretch of attic. Oh, I know what that is. Jesus Christ. So that's the ductwork that goes to the living room on this side, coming down and making a turn. Um, what the hell am I gonna do now? Let 
me go look at this from the top. Okay, so there is a path through here, but it's going to involve, <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, but I think it can work. Let me show you guys what I'm working with. So, <clears throat> there's no access through here. And the reason is there's a, there's, it's just full. There's no access. But if I come over here, where you see that light, there's a hole behind one of the sinks. And so I could put the elbow on it, bring it over there, and then probably get up into there with a 45. And that's only gonna cost me you know, 135 degrees of turn. And I'm not gonna be able to feed this through there without taking down more of the ceiling, so that's not gonna happen. And unfortunately, I have taken the ceiling down, but I, I needed to get this pipe through, so this is just part of the cost of the project. So I'm gonna go up into the attic and feed these other two pipes past, and then I can intercept them and uh, join into them. But uh, first, I gotta get them in there, because I gotta get them from the bathroom to where the air conditioner goes. So that's my next project. I'm gonna go set up in the attic and start working up there. All right, so we're back up here. Oh, ouch, damn it. It's tiny ass access. Thought we were done up here, but we're not. So we'll be working over here. And I'm so glad this is a spray foam insulated attic because it's just way easier and cooler to work in here. This would be a lot easier if I had help, but I don't have help today. So I have to tough this out by myself and just slug through it. All right. reason I did not turn these the right direction before I brought them in here. <clears throat> the hell. mistake. <sighs> I'm not wearing gloves today. It just is what it is.
All right, gotta go find that. I'll be right back on camera at least. I'm gonna let it roll. I've gotta go jack with this behind the sink. I know pretty much where it's stuck. Because it's the same place it got stuck last time. You wouldn't think crawling around the attic would take so much wind out of me, but it does. Well, I thought it would be stuck there, but it's not. I don't know where it's at now. Now I gotta look for it. there. So it appears to have not gone into the right slot. And again, I'm fishing blind here and it's a pain in the ass. So I'm going to have to crawl back in this corner, see if I can adjust this where you all can see. So I don't know what you're gonna see because I have really dicey access to this. In fact, I'm gonna have to pull it back. I swear this place gets smaller every time I go in it. Some of the houses I get to inspect have really nice attics and this is not. But man, I would hate this attic as an inspector. All right. So I'm gonna catch my breath before I crawl into this corner. So, y'all aren't probably going to be able to see over my shoulder, and I'm sorry. Really? 
piece of crap. Well, <clears throat> where are we at? Okay, we're over there. All right, so we got to go back over here and fuck with it. Okay. So we're hitting the uh, studs. And I guess, at this point, I shouldn't be hung up there. So let me go look for it on the other end. This hatch is whole small. And it's hot up here. All right, got it. All right, so I've got 20 feet of, of conduit connected and I'm gonna put another three feet on there and it's about 22 feet from where I am to where I need to be. always hard to work in an attic and working in the corner on the joist is a pain in the ass. That's got to go a long ways, so let's go do it. <sighs> oh. 
this is a really small door. <laughs> All right. So we're up here underneath one of my bathroom sinks. And, uh, yeah. All right, so there's my second piece. So I got 20 feet that way. And now I've got to come over to this side. And I think it's about right there. So now what we're gonna do is we've got this piece here and let's go check it on the other end and see where we're at. So, I don't see it. That doesn't mean it's not here. Hmm. Well, darn, I was really hoping we'd see it. Because this is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, hi there, kitty. What are you doing up here? Nope, we're not there. <clears throat> so, let me go find another piece of pipe and we'll glue it on. So for my next trick, I need to get this pipe in there. And I don't think, I might be able to slide it along in there, but I'm gonna try and do it from inside here first. So I have more room on this side, so I think I can work in here. Well, maybe not. All right, let me try and slide it along on the inside of the attic. Damn it, I hate going in this attic. All right, I got it slid in. <laughs> now I gotta get back out of here. I always forget there's a shelf in there when I try to stand up. Okay, so unfortunately, oh, I did get it in here. I got it all the way in.
and remember this is electrical conduit it needs to be attached not waterproof at least not in this location All right, so let's go see where that put us. We're up against here, but we're not gonna be able to see until, uh, I don't know where it's at. So I gotta crawl in here again and look for it. And that really sucks, ah shit. Okay, so I gotta crawl in here again. Under here. Ow, what a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Shit, what the fuck? Ouch, god damn it. All right, that's it right here. And I want it right there. So, whatever's left over will be left over, so. <clears throat> Let me get a elbow and I'll be back. So I decided I should connect this and then I'll cut the excess off that end because it'll be a lot easier to work on. So first we gotta go downstairs and install an elbow and then we're gonna come up and install another elbow and then a coupling. So we'll leave this here and bring these with us. So we're gonna go back up in here again. And what we wanna work on is right here, we're gonna add an elbow to it and then we're gonna go through this hole over here. So. I'm gonna push it back a little bit here. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. Okay, I'm really sorry guys, this is a tight spot to work in and the visuals probably suck bunny butt. I'm trying not to get glue in the aquarium. At least not this kind of glue. So I'm doing everything up here in order to contain where the glue is at. Ah. Got it all over my hand, so I'm gonna wipe it on my shirt because that's a great place for it. And now I got to cut this light off. Hell. All right, let me go deal with the other end of that.
All right, next stop is upstairs. So I'm working this pipe into where I need it. And I can see the other pipe down there. I can't really show you guys. Uh, let me go get the glue. Well, I guess I can show you. So the other pipe is right there, coming up out of the... So down there is where it's coming up out of. Uh, let me go get the glue. I forgot to bring it up. So, my life will be easier if I put some of this together before I try to put all of it together down in that hole. So, I'm going to put that together and then just set that in the corner and let it dry for a second while I rest. All right, so... You guys can kind of see what I'm doing in here. Add lots of light. Wow. So the best I can do right there is that. This is going to be pain in the ass. So, here goes my best shot. Damn it, it dropped down out of, out of reach and I got glue all over my fingers. This is where I really need a second person to help me. Okay, so that's about as good as that's gonna get. Now what we gotta do is join this one to the pipe that crosses the attic. And the little flashlight is flashing to let me know the battery is dying. don't have the hand strength but I think it's good enough it's only got to support a um, piece of thermostat wire Seems pretty sturdy, sturdy to me, so let me change the battery. 
Okay. All right, let's do some magic back here. Where the hell did it go? Shit. Oh, it's down there. All right. You know, I really need something to lay on. Let me go wrangle up some boards. I'll be back. I gotta have something back here. This is killing me. Okay, so where is this gonna go? First, will it reach? It does barely reach. And I think I could just screw it in right there. That gives me something to crawl on. Yeah, you guys can see that. Man, this is a pain in the ass back here. This isn't gonna, it isn't gonna solve itself, so I gotta crawl my fat ass under here. <clears throat> Ow! And fat ass is the operative word. You know, I bet I could do this with my multi tool, so let me get that. Well, this was a significant mistake not to run a piece of conduit for the uh, thermostat wire. And I was 100% correct. This could not be done while the old air conditioner was in place. Yes, indeed. Because this is an all day pain in the ass project that involves cutting holes in ceiling to do what I'm doing right now. I mean, this is bad enough. There we go. And that was perfect. Let me extract myself and a couple of tools. I actually think the multi-tool might have worked better than the Sawzall for that. And I suppose if I was willing to undo some of my ductwork, this would get a lot easier, but I really don't want to take the ductwork apart because I just don't. 
It hasn't leaked. Why should we start having it leak now? It is hot as hell in this attic. Well, okay, I'm fat. All right, let's let's be honest. It's not really that hot. It's like 78 or 80. Ouch, damn it. But I'm laying on two by fours against my belly. in the areas of the kitchen that I just don't generally go. And I'm putting cement on there. And the good thing is this cement is slow. This is a really slow acting cement. So that's where that's gonna be. And we're just gonna sit here and breathe fumes and let it do its thing. Now, because I'm already up in here with a two by four against my stomach where it's really uncomfortable, I'm gonna finish this. Damn it. Ouch. Ow. God. Fucking motherfucker. Ah, what a unpleasant fucking place to work. But that brings this all the way out to here. And it can be cut in this vicinity. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you, let me get my light out of here, just how well this multi-tool cuts this conduit compared to um, a sawzall. I mean, that's beautiful. There's not even a whole lot of swarf on here or chips. That's just a beautiful cut. I had never thought of that. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, oh, you guys didn't even see it. I'm sorry. Let's cut another little piece off so you guys can actually see what I just did. That is a clean, quick, simple cut. So I'm gonna get a clamp and clamp this down in a couple places. I'll be right back with that. Okay, so we're going to screw these down and then that's the end of this video. And these are completely overkill for this in terms of the screws. But I have them and they're not going to get used for probably anything else. And this will do a nice job of ensuring that it doesn't move when I pull cable through or, or thermostat wire. There we go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit that alert bell so that you see my new videos when they come out. Have a great day and hope this has been helpful to some of you that have to do a project from hell like this.